After trending on social media, Rizal Memorial Sports Complex will, will host key events for the SEA Games is almost complete, but foreign media men say otherwise. Marian Enriquez with the story. Hours before the football clash of Myanmar and Malaysia at the Rizal Memorial Stadium, the press conference room looked nothing close to being finished. Walls bare and unpainted, scaffoldings in the interior, and a bare roof acting as ceiling. Even the game venue had scaffolding two hours before the kickoff. But in an ambush interview with Philippine Olympic Committee Secretary General Edwin Gastanes, he said everything will be ready before the game. Not yet finished. We'll see later. Ano-ano na lang po, sir, ang kulang bale? Hindi, hindi ko pala, but uh, I think this will be okay. Okay before po when? Yes, before the game. Later? Yeah. True enough, the organizers were able to finish removing the scaffoldings right before the Myanmar-Malaysia bout. The game ended in a draw, but no post-game conference happened as the media room was badly lit. Instead, it became a venue for foreign correspondents to air their grievances. I expect better, better, better organization from Philippines committee, please. Other journalists want to do their job, they want to give the best for the country, respect the country. Please, don't make other journalists of other countries say bad things about Philippines. It's a different story though for the nearby Rizal Memorial Coliseum. The renovation is almost complete. Gymnastics competition is slated here on December 1. The PAGCO remitted 842.5 million pesos to the Philippine Sports Commission for the renovation of the 1934 facility. Uh, hindi, hindi basta basta gagawin siya. May mga rules and guidelines from National Historic Commission na hindi namin pwedeng galawin. The contractor in charge of the renovation said they're just adding final touches and has begun cleaning the venue. Floor mats and all other equipments for the gymnastics tournament are all set. For News 5, Marian Enriquez. We are One News.